Um, let's start really easily in a, a pose called child pose and we'll kind of build it up from there. You know, as I mentioned to you earlier, the physical movements are not yoga, they're only Eastern calisthenics. What makes the movements yoga is the quality of your mind performing the movement. When you perform the movement with a certain quality, the movement becomes yoga. Just like anything in your life would become yoga if you did it with a certain quality. So what we're practicing here in our calisthenics class is we're practicing doing these calisthenics with a certain mentality. And one day, hopefully, I hope all of you get so good at this that what you do transcends the yoga room and permeates your life. In other words, what you work on in here, everybody starts helping you outside of here. Pretty soon you wash dishes with this quality. You eat your food with this quality. You make love to your lover with this quality. Good, how many of you notice right now that you, for some reason you looked up? Just drop your head down and relax your neck. But if any of you have wrinkles in your neck, now you know how they're getting on your face. You're always straining. You know how stress ages us. Can you just do this calmly? Okay, see if you can use the strength of your left arm to push the floor away from you without tensing your jaw or your neck or your eyes. See if you can start challenging yourself to, to, to be challenged in a calm way. And if you're really comfortable, See if you can take your extended limbs and pull them so far away from each other that you feel something they say is the healthiest thing on earth for the most important place. It's called traction for your spine. And with your left arm strong and your extended limbs long, lift your extended limbs as high as you want. It's personal. Take one last inhale here. Exhale, put everything down and switch. Right leg out behind you. Left arm forward. Head down long. Three. Good. Everybody, listen, if you had surgery yesterday on your right wrist, do you think this would be smart to do today? I mean, there's some people who shouldn't do this pose, right? But this is not for everybody. Please find your place. If you're, you know, sometimes people say, Brian, should I turn my left hand down? Should I turn my left hand in? Should I turn it up? I always say, how the hell should I know? <laughs> Why don't you just turn it each one of those ways and see which one feels right? You know, each one of those ways will stimulate your shoulder differently. That's all. I like to turn my palm in. It's personal. And that, that rotates my left shoulder away from my back, creating more space. But I guess it really is going to depend on what you want. Good. I know a secret to a lot of these poses is just something called space. Just looking for space, which translates into lightness, freedom, and energy. One last inhale here. Exhale, put everything down. Very easily take your legs back to plank position, or what we call upper push-up position. You know, in your house, when you get home, put them in this position. Because anybody and their grandma can do it. This is called bending over and lifting your leg. <laughs> But I want you to notice what happens as soon as they do it. They clamp their jaw, they squint their eyes, they start holding their breath. See if you can do it calmly. And see if you can lift your left leg up until it feels nice across the places that, it's, that are getting exposed. The reason you're doing this pose, if there's nothing esoteric, you're trying to take care of the places that you're feeling right now when you do this pose. And the only way you can take care of them is to touch them gently. Now from here, everybody, very easily, breathing free, see if you can allow your arms to come off the floor, down your ribs like jet airplane wings, and slowly lift your torso and your left leg up the same height as your hips, so you look like a bird that's flying straight across the sky as opposed to a bird flying into the ground. Breathe. Those of you not familiar, I know this is tough. This is called balancing on one leg for a couple seconds. Breathe. And if you're having trouble with this simple shit, now you know why we're doing it. Breathe. Good. Now, from here, one last inhale. Exhale, put your hands down and rest your head. 
with your left leg still lifting, take one last inhale. Exhale, left foot down next to right. Sorry about that one. <laughs> inhale, glance out. Exhale, head low to your own degree. Lift your right leg as high as you'd like it to be. Y'all, this is what I want you to do. For the first couple moments, I want you to look for your spot and for the last part of the pose, I want you to try and be fidget free. Make it more